Hey, what's up nerds and children? The only people that actually still like Fortnite. I don't know about you, but I've been going through some heavy withdrawals recently. This last fall, Fortnite brought back Fortnite OG. The original map, original weapons, it was so, so sick. And I don't know about you guys, but my favorite part of that whole thing was being able to use the rocket launcher again. That's right, the RPG was my absolute favorite weapon. But as much fun as that was, this story doesn't have a happy ending because Epic Games is stupid and they took Fortnite OG away from us. They took the RPG away from me. So at that point, the only thing I could think to do was build it myself. I started this project by modifying an existing model that I found on printables.com. It was by a user called 3D Workbench. He's got a few Fortnite related things on there if you guys like 3D printing. I would recommend to go and check his page out. The model he put up on there helped me a ton with this project. I had to modify it so that a 1.325 inch PVC pipe could pass all the way through it. That PVC pipe is acting like our barrel. I also modified the trigger mechanism to hold a button and a couple of 9 volt batteries for the ignition source. Those 9 volt batteries are wired straight through a push button and then they go into the terminals on the side where I put into the leads for the e-fuse with the intention that it would be really quick reload. And obviously I 3D printed all of these individual pieces. They printed fairly well even though most of my filament was older than Moses. Guys these prints took so long. So long that I actually had a work trip in the middle of this project and I actually took my 3D printer with me and I had this printer running full time while I was gone all day working. Just sitting there in my hotel room printing away. So after I was done printing, I slid all the parts together over the PVC pipe and made sure everything lined up correctly. After I was happy with the fit, I put a little bit of hot glue between all the parts. Then I moved on to the e-fuses. I showed them a little bit in my last video, but essentially we're just shorting 9 volts across some nichrome wire. That nichrome wire is wrapped around a, a match, which is going to light up pretty easy. And then a little bit of tape holds it all together. So you just stick that inside the end of the rocket and there you go, you have an igniter. Like I showed in my last video, the rockets themselves are based on a design from the YouTube channel King of Random. Without testing though, I wasn't sure if the 3D printed gel that I made for the RPGs were actually going to be too heavy for the rocket motors. There are ways to test it, but honestly, I just figured I'd send it and see what happens. If they are too heavy, I'm going to have to redesign them and you're going to have to look out for a future video on them. But I promise if they don't work, I will remake it so that it does work. I mean, come on. <laughs> you cannot tell me this thing's not awesome. This is probably one of the coolest things I've built, honestly. And I know I built some really cool stuff, but like, I love this thing. So with everything assembled and ready to go, we were super excited to get out to the farm and test it out. Now, before I show you these tests, I just wanted to ask you to subscribe and like the video because it lets us know that you like it. So let me know if you like it. Thank you so much for your support. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? So, I want to actually be able to fire this, but in light of recent events on YouTube, if you know, you know, RPGs aren't always the safest thing to shoot, especially when you make them yourself. Two, one. We have our assistant here that's gonna help us out with that task. What's his name again? What do you always say his name was? It was? Young Greg. So we have our assistant here, Young Greg, to help us out with that task. He hasn't had the chance yet to drink Bailey's out of a shoe. I'm all Greg. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a breakdown of how this thing actually works. So what we have here is a few of the components, basically propellant or what's gonna make the rocket move. It's a combination of potassium nitrate, powdered sugar. If you really wanna know how to make these, we did a video before this of what goes into the actual rocket propellant. This is our uh, activator switch, so we don't have to be too close to it. Garrick is able to figure out how to basically incorporate a remote detonator into the RPG. So all we have to do is push that button. Foolproof method to shoot them off without injuring ourselves. So this is the stem of our rockets. This pipe will actually sit in here like so. This is the fuse. It's gonna run all the way through, be resting right in here. Pretty sweet. With that, we should be ready to go. All right, once I plug this in, we're live. Three, two, one. Dang it, is it too heavy? That was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Maybe we can chop a little bit of the, the weight off or something? So I've got a new fuse that we're putting in there and I'm gonna test a little bit shorter stem on the rocket and see if that makes any difference. And if that's not the solution, maybe we try a thinner pipe on the stem. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, that one. <laughs> that was, that was freaking young Jeff, you didn't even try to save me. All right, this is what we're gonna do. I think we gotta shoot it out of the RPG, but I think we need a lot less rocket stem. 
Okay, let's try that. Facing into the pit, because I'm sure that's where it's gonna go. I don't really think this is gonna travel very far, to be honest, but we're gonna at least get it to shoot out of the RPG, so. I think if we can at least get it to shoot out a rocket-propelled projectile, like, it is a working model, right? It is, it's a working RPG. It's a working RPG, it is. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. Dang it. I feel like we just need a bigger rocket. A more powerful rocket. Let's just try it again real fast. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you're doing great! You're being too aggressive with the baby! Oh no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Lay her out! Lay her out flat! Straighten it out! Oh my gosh! Dang it! Why doesn't it freaking work? We have an idea! All right, so I just rigged it up with something we actually know is gonna work for sure. I just put one of the rockets that we were shooting in the last video just in the pipe and it's gonna shoot out. So let's launch that, because that's gonna be pretty cool. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put a stick on it. Yeah. <laughs> shoot, okay. We're just gonna act like that last one didn't happen. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> yes! Yes! You know what that is? That's a rocket launcher. You see that? It launched a rocket. Did it not launch a rocket? It launched it. It launched a rocket. Boom. I made I made a rocket launcher. But it didn't try to kill us. Yeah, yeah. So we are gonna make another run at this. Obviously it didn't work exactly how we wanted it to, but I think we're pretty excited about making things from video games and making them in real life. We're gonna take another run at this one, but let us know in the comments what other things from video games you want us to build. Try to see if we can make it work, and we might do them and give you credit for it. So, so yeah, thanks for watching. Oh! <laughs> okay, that one. <laughs>